Good morning, friends. Today is Friday, May 15th, and today we are going to be doing some color experiments. Hi, friends. Our first experiment that I'm going to show you today is our color changing celery experiment. For this experiment, you are going to need to pick out some food coloring. And for each color you choose to use, you will need a glass about halfway full with water and you will need a piece of celery. I recommend cutting off, having an adult cut off the ends of your celery for you. So I have one right here that I already cut off. And I am going to do the blue food coloring for this example. So you are gonna add a few drops of blue food coloring to your water and then you are going to put your celery inside. You can use your celery to stir the water around. And then you have to wait. I did this experiment and it took a few days for the celery to become really colorful. So ask mom and dad to help you find a safe spot where you can keep your cup of celery. And then check back on it in a couple of days and see how the colors change. Hi friends, I started my color changing celery experiment a couple of days ago and I wanted to show you what they look like. In this cup I used blue food coloring and a leafy piece of celery and if you look closely you can actually see that some of the blue food coloring is made it to the leaves. In this cup I did purple food coloring and you can see the purple has traveled up the celery. In this cup I have yellow and it's a little bit harder to see but you can see a collection of the yellow up here at the top of the celery. And the last one I have green and you can see it faintly as it traveled up to the top. This is a cool experiment to show you guys how water travels up a plant as it is growing to feed them. The next experiment I'm going to show you is the Skittle Rainbow Experiment. So for this, you are going to need a shallow pan or dish. I am using a foil pie pan, but if you have a white serving dish, that would work too. You are gonna need some colorful candy, so you can use Skittles, but M&Ms work just as well. And you are going to line your pan or plate with the candy. And I actually put mine in a, in a pattern. I did red, green, yellow, orange, purple, red, green, yellow, orange, purple. Once you have the candy around your plate, you are going to slowly add the water to the middle, just enough so that the water is touching all of your candy. And then you have to wait. It didn't take very long, but you can note, you can see that the colors are starting to move into the center. How cool. You'll notice, friends, that as the color leaves the Skittles and travels into the center of our pan, that the color of the Skittles has changed. They are no longer bright and colorful anymore. They are turning white. But look at our cool rainbow. The last experiment I am going to show you today, friends, is my rainbow magic milk experiment. For this one, again, you will need a shallow pan, and I'm gonna use a foil pie pan again, and you are gonna fill it with about a quarter inch of milk. Whole milk works best, but I didn't have any at home, so I'm using 1% milk. Then you will need a variety, a selection of different colored food colorings. You will need a bowl of dish soap, a few Q-tips, and you can even use a couple of cotton balls. So the first step is to add drops of food coloring to your milk. You don't wanna mix it around. You just wanna do a couple drops. So I'm gonna start by using the Q-tip. I'm gonna dip it in the dish soap and watch what happens when I 
dip it into the pan. Whoa. Did you see that? The colors were trying to escape. What if I dip it over here? Oh, I need to dip it back into the dish soap. It's harder to see, but the colors are starting to move away. Now I'm going to try it, but I'm gonna dip the cotton ball in the dish soap and I'm gonna do two cotton balls and put them at either end of my dish and see what happens. So I'm gonna put one here and one here. So the colors are spreading around. They're trying to get away from the dish soap. How cool is that? 